All right, Sentinels fans, here is game two of our playthroughs of Sentinels Definitive Edition. This is, again, us trying out Rook City Renegades because we're having a fun time getting this brand new game. Only using Rook City Renegades stuff, we're going to try out this fake Court. The fake Court is a new boss that we haven't seen before, and we're kind of excited to test that out. All right, so fake Court comes with these two. The fake Court, the Dogda, and the Morrigan. So Dogda? these... Dogda? Dogda. Dog, 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 and let's put these two out into the villain play area. I'll be running the villains, and Bri will be running the environment. Let's try these guys out in the realm of Discord. Why not? A weird place full of weird things. All right, and pick your first hero. Who do you want to play? Uh, I'm going to take Harpy. Harpy, nice. Draft wise, I will then take Night Mist match with Harpy's magical powers. We're going to have most of our magical power users out in full. And then you played Alpha last time. So I, I will take Alpha. Alpha's new and pretty cool. And then why not I'll play somebody that you played. I'm going to try the new expatriate. She seems like she can do some cool stuff. So let's get this game started. All right. So it does say put the morgue on that side, okay, put four tokens on it. The Morgan acts after Dagda during the villa turn. Discover one advisor card, discover H minus one courtier card. So we're gonna get one advisor and four courtiers. Based on the start of these cards, that we are aiming to not hit them and to gain their favor instead of killing them? I think we have to take out the Morgan. I'm almost certain that she is a problem. But if we get the court's displeasure, don't you think- I think the would... court gets mad when we beat her up. Yeah. But I think we have to take her out to win. Mm. We'll see. I don't know. We're going to have to see what their flip side look like. So first I discovered, and we got Trickster Puck, who after the villain character card flips, add one token to one villain character card. So flipping her would get a token on him. And once he has six, we win. One hero discards two cards and draws one card. Then if no villain character cards flip this turn, play the top card of the villain deck. So we have to flip one of them. Mm, okay. So we have to slap and flip one of them. And when we do that, that'll reduce the amount of villain character cards that we run into. Okay. All right, so we need to discover Typical three- Typical Morrigan, cordiers, always the bad guy. Right? If you named your kid Morgan, you're just setting it up to be Morgan, a bad guy. Morgan, Morgan, Morgana. It's all because of the King Arthur Tales. Mm -hmm. Advisor. Okay, so we've got three courtiers and one advisor. Trickster Puck sounds like a jerk. I think he works for her. We've got the Nymph Stewards. Seven HP. End phase is one hero with no bond cards in their play area discards one card. If no card is discarded this way, remove one token from each villain character card. So we had to make sure not everybody has a bond while she's out. Next, Salamander Arbiters. This card deals each hero target in play areas with more than one bond card, three fire damage. If no damage is dealt this way, remove one token from each villain card. Yikes, all right. So if nobody has more than one bond card, he doesn't do any damage and we lose token. Now, losing tokens might be good if we remove them from her. I don't know. We don't know what they do. Dryad Chancellors. End phase. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it is a one-shot, discard it and add one token to one villain character card. Otherwise, play it. So he tries to get more counselors out. They try to get more counselors out? I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to gender to trees. <laughs> All right. Night Mist is actually over here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> very good. Okay, who is starting for us? Mm. I feel like we need to react to her uh, cards being aspects. Out. If she has too many aspects, we need to be able to deal with them. So we need to know her aspects are out. Do you want her to go first again? Uh, no, we need to get rid of her aspects before her turn happens. So mm. I think she should go last. Okay. And then we have more time to deal with her. Do you want Harpy to start? Let's start with Night Mist. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just said you wanted to put her in the last. Oh, right. Okay, Harpy. <laughs> Harpy and around. Okay, right. so we'll start with start these with guys. 
So they got 55 and 65, they're all set up, we're good to go, nothing happens at start of phase, so we play a card. And we got an ongoing Quartz Displeasure, no, right off the bat. Right off the bat, cool. Whenever a villain character card is dealt damage by a hero target, remove two tokens from that villain character card. Oh. The villain target with the lowest, with the highest HP, okay, that's end phase. Okay, so now we're gonna do end phase things. So he goes, end phase, discover one bond card. So we're discovering. If you haven't played the new one, discover is reveal until a bond is revealed, shuffle the rest back and then play the bond or whatever type of card is told you to discover. So this is going to say play in a hero player area. One of us is getting it. It's a time of peace. It's got okay, wait. One hero target in the play area with that bond regains two HP. So not important right now, but not just something to note at his end phase that whoever he gives a bond to gets healed. Whoever yes. has this bond. No. Discover one bond, then one hero. So discover the bond. Discovering the bonds is play into a pl hero play area. Is so now I get bond. it. Yes. So this specific bond, this turn, that person heals. Yep. So whoever he gives a bond to on that on turn, that, turn. Okay. that person gets healed. Okay. Uh, start phase, discard one card. Each target regains two HP. End phase, if any targets were destroyed this turn, play the top card of the villain deck, then remove one token from one villain character card and bury this card. Okay, I'm gonna put this on her. Okay. Because her power is letting me draw extra cards so I can deal with the discard a card easier than everybody else right now, I think. Okay. But that also means I can't be destroying villains. I can get them low, but somebody else has to keep, take them out. Okay. Or else that triggers. So we gotta think about that. Okay. She can no, it's, it's, it doesn't. It says if any targets were destroyed this turn, this it doesn't turn. stay by. Her turn. Not round. Right. Turn. Right. Right? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so now she goes. The hero with the fewest cards in hand, all of us are even, draws one card. So any of us can draw a card. Should we draw her a card sure. right now? Okay, so let's draw our four to start. And I'll draw one more. Just so I can power that up right yep. off the bat. Then reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a target, play it. Otherwise, discard it. It's a target. That's not great for us. Okay, so she's like manipulating who's out. We got pixies now. All right, so Trickster Puck starts. And he says, one hero discards two cards and draws one card. Then if no villain character cards flip this turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Nobody's flipped. This is this turn. Huh, all right. So we have to flip one of them on their turn? Tricky. See, I, that wording always... I'm sure that we've double-checked it a million times, but... I think the new things even here say, yeah, villain turn, each hero turn in play order, environment turn. Yeah. So yes, so they have to flip on their turn for him to not play the top card. Interesting. Okay. Don't know how that works. Okay, so we need to, one hero discards two cards and then draws one. So each of us has to analyze our hand and figure out who has cards they don't want and needs a new card or things like that. So I got two guns and some ammo. So she's pretty happy with how her hand is looking. One of us has to discard one, is that right? Discard two. Ooh. Yeah. Nightmares can do it. If you're Okay. Okay. So I discard two cards. I feel like I have all my good build-up stuff. Okay. And then I draw one card. Then if no villain character cards, flip this turn, play the top card. Okay. More drives. Stewards. One hero with no bond cards in their play area discards one card. Okay. Do you have a bond? Oh, I have a bond, so one yeah. of you two has to, because my is now pretty late. Okay, discarding one card. And then we add a token to him, right? If no card is discarded this way, remove a token. Oh, okay, never mind. Salamander. This card deals each hero target in play areas with more than one bond. None of us have more than one bond, so he's not hitting anybody. Then I have to remove one token from each villain. 
This guy, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a one-shot, discard it and add a token, otherwise play it. It's a one-shot, so we're gonna add a token to... Let's add a token to the deck there, because we need six on him to win. Okay. Boop. The Court's Displeasure. Whenever a villain character is dealt damage by a hero target, remove two tokens from that villain case. The villain character with the highest HP deals the H minus two hero targets with the highest HP, two infernal damage. So the two highest, two. That is 29 and 20, or there's three 29s. Uh, Alpha will take two. Okay, uh, expert. All right. The character, or this, card deals the hero target with the highest HP, H melee damage, 4. If that damage is reduced, prevented, or redirected, remove one token from the villain. Okay. Okay. And then reveal the top card of the villain deck. It's a one shot. Discard it and add another token to the villain. Okay. That right, was... we're a third of the way there. A third of the way there. <laughs> Easy peasy. We got this. Nothing happened. We barely even got scratched. <laughs> All right, so Harpy's gonna start. Okay, I'm going to play Eldritch Training, which is an ongoing limited. After this card is played, you may draw a card or play a card. I'm gonna draw a card. Then I will do my power. Uh, it deals one target, one infernal damage. Uh, who is the problem? That guy. Sure, okay, Puck so we're gonna and deal... Salamander Arbiter. Oh, him first. Him first? Yes. Okay. One damage. Yes, and okay. then draw two cards. At the end of your turn? That's oh, part that, of my oh, power. Oh, that's that. Wow. And then end phase, draw two cards or destroy a flock card. So I'm going to draw two more cards. Okay, good. And then I'm going to draw a card to end my turn. Wow, if I knew you were drawing that many cards, I would have given you time yeah, to piece. I, I thought didn't. I was doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, Night Mist. Oh, wait, I got a Suddenly card. Oh, play it Suddenly. You have to play it immediately. Yeah. Shuffle your trash into your deck. Okay, one card. The Harpy deals herself one fixed psychic damage. I like these sudden these. Especially on characters like Harpy that are like uncontrolled, right? She has a bunch, apparently. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uncontrollable characters have them. Interesting. Okay, and then I get to discover a flock card. So that is flip cards from the top until I find one. And this didn't happen at your end phase yet. This has had to happen during your draw phase, which is before No, that was phase. the last oh, card the, I drew. Oh, from this end phase. No, like, I... Drew a card to end my turn, and so I pulled the draw phase, which happens before your end phase. Oh, so that actually happened during your end phase, but it's fine. Anyway, okay. because flock. Okay, flock. Okay. Um, discover goes into my hand. Where's our thing? No, discover goes into both. Collect goes in your hand. Where's our rules thing? Add these. Get shuffle back in. Not familiar enough with the new terms yet. Let's discover goes into play in the order that they were discovered. Okay. And then it's still your end turn, so that thing's end of turn happens. So the draw card happens before the end phase thing? Yes. So hero turn is start phase, play phase, power phase, draw phase, end phase. So draw a card before you activate any of your okay, ends. Okay, okay. So that would have let me be able to destroy a flock card, but I'm playing a little bit out of order, so. Anyway, end phase. Uh, the Harpy deals up to three targets, two projectiles damage each. Okay. And I will deal all of it. Three separate. Okay, yep. so who? Uh, those two, for sure. Salamander and Trickster. And I think this one. The Pixie Knights? Yeah. That's actually ending my turn. Okay, I do deal four. That is the end of your turn. Yeah. Now I'm not even going to go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this. Scouring Mists. Discard the top card of your deck. Now you must deal up to that card's magical power in three infernal damage. One target. Damn it. <laughs> really hoping that would play out better. So three damage going out, and we're going to slap the Salamanders, I guess, because again, we want to take that out, and that'll put it up to six, so we only have to hit it for two more damage. Nice. Yes, because he gets rid of one token from each, and that'll get rid of our dang tokens. We don't want that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Then my power. Discard one card. Either draw two cards or play a spell card. <sighs> you need to 
need some draw card abilities. I'll discard that to draw two cards. Cards, and then I will take my draw phase, drawing a card. Now it's my end phase. I have no end phase abilities. I comes over to me. I can discard one card. No, I have to discard one card. Okay. Three ongoing go there. That one we want to get rid of. I will get rid of I guess my shocking rounds for now, because my power is really good at getting more ammo. So I can get rid of an ammo for now. Everybody can regain two HP, so anybody that's hurting targets? Each target. Ooh. Yeah. But I just healed all of them. Mm -hmm. All that damage you deal with tells. Should have thought about that. Okay. And those other counters, yeah. Hmm? Okay. So I am going to play targeted explosion, blowing up the quartz displeasure. Okay, nothing happens when it gets destroyed? No. Okay. Cool, cool. Then deal up to three targets, two fire damage each. So I redo out the damage redo that damage. we got rid of. Very good. Two to you, two to you. And we got rid of Quartz Displeasure. So I'm going to deal two damage to Morgan. No, and she still flips when you hit her. Though. Yeah, I want her to flip. I'll oh, see oh, what happens. Oh. One, Risk an edge. Because we don't have that whenever a villain flips, bad things happen. So slapping her flips her. Oh, but Reading after this card is dealt damage by it, bury the advisor with the lowest HP. Him? Now, they all say courtiers, not advisors. Oh, advisor. This is him. The advisor. So bury him. Perfect. Onto the bottom of the deck. Great. That worked out really well. I didn't even think of that. Okay. Summon the Quartz Displeasure. So bring the Quartz Displeasure oh. back out. But it doesn't, its effect that was bad doesn't happen. So she flips. Gets her tokens back. She looks angry. She looks pissed. She's not happy with what just happened. There is ever zero tokens on this card. You have angered the fake court whilst under your their sway. You may never see the mortal realm again. Game over. Oh, so we so have to keep tokens on keep her. Keep tokens on her. Okay. And him. Cool. Ooh, okay. When she's on this side. Yes. So each hero target may deal itself two infernal damage if at least H damage is dealt this way. Flip, flip her. Back. If we don't want her slapping us for one and one. Hmm. All right. Interesting. All right. Interesting. Very Interesting. good. Very good. I feel like we have to take her out, or we have to get six on him. We have to get six on him. I think that's the. But that's the easier. Goal. Leaving her on the other side summons too many guys that we can't deal. with. We'll see. Okay. I played a card. I can use a power, discover an item card. If that card is an ammo card, draw two cards. Okay. Ongoing one shot, one shot, one shot. Item, ammo, discover. It is an ammo card, so I'll draw two cards after. No targets were destroyed. We buried a target, but that doesn't destroy them. Play the top card of the villain deck, then remove one token from one failed character card. Okay. So I got an ammo, I draw two cards, and now it's my draw phase. And I draw. Then it's my end turn. No targets were destroyed, so we don't do those things. Okay. And I am done. Um, I am... First going to play Powerful Frame, which is minus one damage dealt to Alpha an aspect. And then my power card, I think my power will be regained to HP, which I can't because we actually just healed. Uh, real top card of your deck, if it's an aspect, play it. It is not, so it goes in my hand. And then I draw a card and end my turn. Oh, okay. That's too bad. Nope, we want to do guilty damage. Yep. Okay, you can run the realm. 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 Realm of Discord. What happens? 
The crawls, ongoing distortion. Three is eight. Slow. Accurate. Thank you. Obviously, there's more to play this. One of my favorite characters. After this card is played, destroy all other distortion cards. There are none. During each hero turn, that hero must skip either their play for phase or their power phase. During the villain turn, skip the first end phase effect that would occur. So his discovering bonds. Yes, yeah. For now. For now. Okay. So we kind of want to destroy that, I think. <laughs> yep, very much so. Alright, he's going to play a bomb. This is back to their turn. Oh, I guess starter phase. Starter phase first. first. Each hero target may deal themselves damage to flip her back. Do we care about flipping her right now? I don't think we do. She's going to deal each of us two... Two damage. Two damage. Let's not flip her for now. Let's try it out. Okay. Okay. We just want to make sure she's not going to get to zero. Things. Zero tokens. We have to be very careful about removing tokens. If we remove, we need to keep tokens on her. Okay. But we need tokens on him more to win. Mm. But losing zero is loss. So that's the start. Nothing else. We're going to try leaving her flipped. So now this goes out. Play in a hero play area. Okay, let's right. put it on alpha. So read out the rest of what it does. Play one card. Each hero draws a card. That's at every start phase for yep. you. If any hero has more cards in hand than you do, discard your hand and draw a card, then remove one token from a villain character oh, card. Oh, so give it to her instead. Give it to her instead. Cool. Okay. She has the big She's hand. She's got the big hand right now. Yeah. You gotta be careful about that. Yeah, I think you have the most. Seven. Six. <laughs> All right. Gotta keep more cards in Harpin's hand. All right, fine. It's been dealt up. Okay. Next. End phase. This one skips because of that, and it goes to Morgan. She hits all of us for two, one melee, one infernal. So Alpha negates the damage because of her powerful frame. Morgan's claws are nothing. All right. Let's go. Let's tweak over. One hero with no bond cards in their play area discards one card. I have four cards. And I can discard one charge on it if you want to discard one. Do it. Okay. Everybody discards the card. Salamander Arbiters. Everybody? No, uh, you okay, discard. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Salamander Arbiters. Each hero in play with more than one bond card is free damage. If no are dealt damage this way, remove one token from each villain. Okay. Maybe we should give that to her. Okay, reveal the top card of the villain deck. One shot. One shot. Yes. Discarded. Add one token. Morgan? What are we removing anymore? Remove one token from one villain card if the damage is prevented. Whoever the highest HP, which is you, and it is prevented, so yes. Add it to Morgan. Okay. This card deals the hero target with the highest HP for melee damage. So three. Three. It was per, it was re reduced. Yes. So remove one token from one villain. Here we go. Okay. Feel the top card. If it's a one shot, it is not. More salamanders. Mm. Ooh. This thing. The villain target with the highest HP deals H minus two targets, two damage each slot, two highest two. That is us two. So I take one. And then he can't slap anyone, so he removes one token from each. Wow. Maybe a really quick loss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, now we kind of want to flip her, I think. At the start of yeah. her turn, I guess. And then we have to build her back up. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, start. start. All starts. Oh, this start. One. Okay, discard two cards. Oh, you might want to do, I don't know, up to you which one you do start first. You decide. Is it if... It's at end phase, that's fine. Boil of Hawks. Is that what a collection of Hawks is called? I a guess boil? so, a boil. Okay, just... Can't think about it too much. I need to just discard. So, <clears throat> if you have zero, bad things happen. Right. Not a thing. Uh, play a card. Each hero draws a card. Okay. 
play, I am going to play, let's play Avian Aid because I don't know what either of those things do. So summon a cohort card or summon the Mask of First Sky. discover one is locked. Oh, sorry. Okay, discover first. So discover goes into play? Yeah. Let's draw more cards. Ooh. <clears throat> Mischief of magpies, that's right. Well that one. It is a boil of hot. So now time. summon a cohort or summon the mask of sky and shroud. So either your mask or your Hugin oh, Hugin. Flock cards gain the keyword suddenly. Draw up to five cards is the power. Up to five. Up to five. So that means that so you have five in your hand. Does it? Or does it draw up to, you can choose how many cards you draw up to uh, five. That's a good question. I think it would say draw until you have five cards in your hand. I agree. Draw. Oh, yeah. okay. okay, and then the other one was a cohort? Yeah, so Hugin and Mugen, probably. Oh, Hugin the Wise. No suddenly flocks. No suddenly flocks. Seems dangerous. <laughs> no, 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 not flocks. right now. Not right now. <laughs> Mischiefs and boils and stuff, you know. Okay, so this is all this play a card, right? Play one card, and each hero draws. So we a card. don't draw until you finish this play a card. Okay, so, so that is done. Okay, this guy doesn't do anything when he's played. No. Okay, so back to this. Now each hero draws a card, including yourself. Now the other starter phases that yeah. you just got, that still start. Discard two cards. Yeah. This is a problem. I don't have no cards in hand. One hero target regains two HP. I'm gonna make it her to keep her the highest health. But if they, if she has the highest health and it's reduced, we lose tokens. Let's do it over here. Okay, so now I play a card. I'm gonna play this power, which lets me destroy flock cards. <sighs> so you're playing a card and choosing not to play, use a power this turn. Play a card or use a power. Do you want to take that back and use one of your other powers, or do you want to play that card and then you not use a power? Okay, so then draw a card. And it is your end phase. Okay. Plus seven. All right. Either draw two cards or destroy a flock card. They just make me discard the cards. But if I'm drawing back up, then it's good, right? Yeah. Okay. The Harvey deals up to three targets, two projectile damage each. Kill one of the salamanders. Kill out. They're definitely an issue. Then deal two damage to the other salamander and the pixie knights. Okay. Remember, it'll just get healed off, so it barely matters. I guess. Do you still have six cards in your hand? Seven. Damn. So I discard my hand. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, during the end of phase. End of phase. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, seven. Now, we can choose... End phase in any order. Okay. Because you they're hero cards? cards. Yeah, they do. Okay. So up to two heroes draw a card each. I'm drawing mm -hmm. one. And I, uh, I think it has to be Magnus. How many cards do you have? One, two, three, four, five. So then you're going to tie with me again. Okay. But now I can draw two cards. Okay. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So you're the highest. So you don't have to get rid of your hand. Otherwise? Um, Is there another way? If any hero has more cards, discard your hand, draw a card, then no, nothing else happens. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's your turn. That's my turn. Okay. Woo! Night Mist. Okay, hopefully this is a two. Discard the top card of your deck. Destroy the magical power worth of ongoing cards. Up to. It's a four. Alright, so we can destroy this and this. Nice! So we aren't slowed anymore. And that goes away. Cool. That was my play. That's a brutal oblivion to lose. Yep, too bad. Um, power, I'll discard a card. 
There's so many options. Okay, I'm gonna discard that card. Now I can draw two oh, cards or play it. Sorry. Did you get a seven? I did. I gotta pay attention to my draw cards. Yes. So it's just shuffle my trash into my deck and deal myself one damage with whatever draw card. And then you have to react to what card is. So I'll undo what I did and we'll wait for. Pay attention to suddenlies. Ah, uh, discover. Uh, it's just a start and end phase. When did you draw the suddenly like, during the end phase? Uh, yes, it would yes. be during this. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll do its end phase. Each non hero target one sonic damage. Eight. Oh, that hits the bosses. Yep. Now he's going to be mad at us. He doesn't have any tokens on him, anyways. But you're hitting him for Six. one and he flips. Reduce that by one. Hitting her for one because of this. Whenever a character card is dealt damage. Oh, I'm her. really upset with this spinner. It's very loose. You pissed off Dagda, and we switched Morgan back to her. Yep. Other phase. This is a tricky. Uh, yeah, tricky boss. Okay, so then Night Mist, mm -hmm. and I do these things. Yep. Destroying these. Yes, I feel like I need to get set up more, and I'm not set up enough, so I'm going to do a call forth. Summon one item or relic card from any one deck or trash. So I'm going to summon a relic from, or, or item from myself. So I summon the Vial of Exomna. I feel summon, I shuffle, then discard the top card of your deck. Ooh, I gave myself three damage. That's a painful one, I was hoping it would be a one. But that's how Nightmare's plays. So that was my play card. I can now use a power. I will use this power here. Oh, when this card is destroyed, play this card. Okay. I'll use this power here to regain the three HP. Yes, whatever's the current top of my discard pile is what that symbol means. So that symbol is currently here. Okay. Then that was my power, so I could draw a card. And that was the end of that. <sighs> Time of peace. I have to discard a card and each buddy everybody regains two HP. I need to be targeted. So all of them heal? All of them heal, all of us heal. Let's try this. Comprehensive plan. One shot. Uh, Harpy can draw one card. Okay. It is not a suddenly. <laughs> a second hero may use a power. So let's get her set up. I regain two health. That brings me to max. Reveal the top card. And draw from my hand. Okay. Let's set up. A third hero may play a card. Cool. Now I can use a power. I will discover an item card. Give that card is ammo. Draw two cards. Item gun. It's play. I had prejudice. I had prejudice. So many shoots. So many shoots. End phase. If any targets are destroyed this turn, none were. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play or discover an aspect card. This is going to be plus one damage dealt by me. If there are three or more aspect cards in play, there are not. So otherwise, discover an aspect card. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. They were all stacked at the bottom, I guess. I guess so. Ongoing aspect. So I discovered an aspect card. That is my play card. Power. 
regaining two HP, which I can't. Because I have max. So, put your now hand and play it immediately. Play it immediately. Okay. Shuffle your trash into your deck. Destroy silver bindings. I don't have it. Discover an aspect. Discover an aspect. Looks with plus one damage dealt by you. Oh, you're right. Yeah, nice. So you get something good. Dang claws. Okay, now I have four. Mm -hmm. Luckily, there are targets with low health. Yep. Can you get me the damage dealt by me plus one? Okay, then I go through my end phase things. If there are three or more aspect cards in play, Alpha deals the target with the lowest HP, one, two, melee damage. Deals the target with the lowest HP, two, melee damage. They're all the same. Oh, two melee damage. Two melee damage. <laughs> cool. Kill. <Killed>. Yeah! <laughs> and then I draw a card. That's legit what it feels like playing her. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That was good. Now I just have to maintain control. Maintain control. Okay. Environment. Environment. You drew your end turn card? Yes, I did. Uh, make sure it's not a sudden. Uh, no other distortion cards to destroy. So, destroy a hero ongoing card and a villain ongoing card. No villain ongoing cards. Oh. Is that any of the ones that aren't amazing? I really like my ongoing, and she yeah. doesn't have any. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the Chatter of Starlings. Hey. Hey. Each environment target. There's none. Oh, each non-environment target deals itself a fixed sonic damage. Okay, so they'll take one sonic damage, including all of them. Their phase. Dagda. Each hero may discard two cards. If at least eight cards are discarded this way, flip them back. We do want that. We want that. Okay. Oh! What is this thing? The Dagda deals the hero target with the highest HP, X cold damage, or X is the number of tokens on this card, which isn't any. Not damageable right now, but it might be by the end of this turn. Maybe a little bit. We want to discard two and flip them, and then that keeps people lower than I her. guess. I have discarded two. Flip them back. All right, cool. That was his start. That was his start. Now he plays a card. Boom! Will o Will o Wisp heralds. All right, her end of phase. Oh no, now end of phase. His end of phase. Discover a bomb. We want to maybe get somebody two bombs in case salamanders come out. Good. Oh, there we go. If this play area, if this is the play area with the most ongoing cards in play, destroy one ongoing card in each play area, then remove one token from each play. Oh, I don't like that. The most ongoing. She has like nothing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So she doesn't have any ongoings. Okay. So now she has two cards and can deal with that. Okay. Who next? Um, so that was him. Yeah. Then she would regain two HP if oh she is quite close. Yep. Okay, her. The hero with the fewest cards in hand. Me draws uh, one. Uh, I have to do more discarding okay. than you do, I think. So I'll draw a card. Drew from suddenly. It's fine. Then reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a target, play it, otherwise discard. It is discarded. Nice. Okay. Nymph Stewards. One hero with no bomb cards in their play area discards one card. If no card is discarded this way, remove a token from each play. Okay, that's how you discard it. Okay. I could probably discard one. I don't care about maintaining control. <laughs> 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 Alright. 
Uh, reveal the top card of the villain deck if it's a one shot discarded and add a token to the villain card that lets play. It is a bond. Play this card in a hero play area. One hero target in this play area deals one target free melee damage at the start phase. If seven or more damage was dealt this turn, one target in this play area deals each target two radiant damage. She doesn't deal any damage until her end phase, right? Mm, yeah. So you can activate this, no damage was dealt, and then do your end phase and all your damage is done. Yeah. But then you can't play any deal damage cards. Okay. I could go full support and just not play Oblivion. I'm like, I've built her up now, I want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can just not play Oblivion, and we can deal with that. Okay, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP. For... Twenty-five. So it was full damage, so we don't remove tokens. We'll be able to top card of the villain deck, and it's a one-shot, discard it. If it's not, we're playing this team. Champion Luke. What? Alright, Will with Heralds. This card deals each hero target two sonic damage. Uh, add one villain token to, or one thing to one villain. Which one? Morgan, in case we accidentally flip her? Yep. Each hero with a bond card in their play area may draw a card. This card deals the hero target with the highest HP, 23, 23, 23, so it is Apex, 3 melee damage, 2 melee damage to Apex. No, that's 3, so. Oh. Uh, that target may deal 1 target, 2, or 1 melee damage, so you can deal 2 after it's complete. And that is the end of their face. Okay, Harpy's turn. Harpy's turn. So I do the start phase things before. Yes, start phase in whichever order you want the start phases to happen. Okay. Each hero target retains two HPs. All right. Discard. Play a card, each hero draws a card. Destroy the bonds and get another aspect. Just shuffle this. Blood curdling howl. This one? Yeah. Cool. Slight adjustment here. You'll see everything okay. still. The mask of the sky and trad, and then I will use that power to draw five cards. Now my flocks get sudden lace. There's two. Now I can have, they're not limited. Okay. Woo. All right. You played through all your starter phases, right? And that was your play card? Yes. This is my play card and use power, which made them gain sudden lace. And now, now we go crazy. So now your draw phase, draw a card. Uh, two. All right, the flocks. Now it is your end phase. Choose your end phase order. I'm just gonna go from the top until do that last. Just in case. If any hero has more cards in hand than you, I very much doubt it. One, two, three, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. The harpy deals each non-hero target one sonic damage. Three targets, two projectile damage each. We want to get rid of the Pixie Knights. Mm -hmm. So two. Um, we want him to stay up because when we kill villain targets, we add tokens. Okay. Um, let's kill one of the Dryad Chancellors. It's nice to add a token, but there's also playing. Let's hit the Herald. Cards, yeah. Okay. 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 Then draw two cards or destroy a flower. Summon Stupid. 
summon the corpse. Oh, what did she put? Out. Okay, and then again, three targets, two projectile damage each. Yeah. So that kills the Pixie Knights. Kill the Pixie Knights? Yeah. There was two? Yeah, two. Oh, that's two Pixie Knights. Oh, okay. yeah. Pixie Knights. Okay, two Pixie Knights are dead. When the Pixie Knights die, we can add a token to one of the bosses. Morgan? We're gonna have to. If there's ever. Okay. Uh, two to the first Dryad Chancellors and two to the Herald. That adds the. Whatever. Uh, did that one already. Up to two heroes each draw one card. Think so. And then whoever you want. And no, do Alpha. Alpha looks like one card. Oh, actually, um, when a non-hero card would be played, you may discard one card. If I do, I can discard that. Instead of playing it, the Knight must deal with herself three infernal damage. So that's three, one, two, three, and of course, the does not. Okay, so I'm using this end phase to play one card, and I'm putting out Union. Okay. And his end phase is this card deals up to two targets. Three. So, three some of the higher health ones? Yeah. And dryads or loot, I guess, friends. Sure. Loot looks good for us. That's the core that we need. And then that's it. That's our piece here. So, is that all your end phases? Yeah. Okay, one hero target in this player, myself, can deal one target three damage. Five, six, seven, nine, seven, back. Add a token, back. Okay, third phase. Uh, your thing of what a villain target is destroyed? On her. Okay, I'm going to do call forth. Summon one item or relic card from any one of the corners of the play. Discard the top card in the deck and deal with myself that in the first one. Well, it's not a four. All right, three. Out. 19. All right, using the power. I'll use this power to regain three HP, putting it back to one two. And then I'll draw two cards. Draw an additional card. Then if seven or more damage is dealt this turn, or is not, don't have Discard one card. Okay, discard that. Everybody regain each target regains two. Uh, one here, I'm gonna play an ongoing card for each. Unless you have a really good one, I would like this one. After you discard the top card of your deck, you may immediately discard one card from your hand. So if I don't like the number on it, I can discard a card to change the number. Okay. Which is nice. So I'll play Fistfuls of Lead. Ongoing, limited, power, draw two cards, power phase, you can use additional power during your power phase. So I'll use my base power now to discover an item card, item ammo, if it's ammo, draw two cards. If I don't shuffle the deck, no cards are revealed. And then I may use a second power because of this, so I can shoot my Pride and Prejudice with my two ammos. So that is two damage. Every time we hit her, the Quartz Displeasure comes out. Maybe we have to take her up now that she's flipped, as long as we maintain that there's tokens on her. 
I think that might be our. I think that's the only way to go. Like we're just going in circles right now. We're healing, they're healing. Like we just have to make sure that we keep tokens on her while she's on this side, and we just need to burn her. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Plus one damage dealt by this power on the first hit. Onto the whiz. No, we want it just for the presence. No, okay. So Pride and Prejudice with Shock Round on the first hit. That'll change it to Lightning. I'll shoot the Heralds. That'll kill it. We'll deal two. It'll have less than three HP. So destroy it. Okay. Destroying it lets us add a token. We'll add a token to Morrigan. That's gone. And then the second one, I'll activate Liquid Nitrogen Rounds to make it three damage. And I will shoot him and kill him. Another token, Morgan. Now, do we want to kill? He brings in so many guys. He can. He can. He can also. And we have we had two of them out. Yeah, I know that's why I killed the other one. Let's let's go. We still have another one out. Uh, okay, so then that's my end. No, no, now I draw a card for my draw phase. That guy got buried. This one? Yes. Whenever a target would be destroyed by the damage from this bury instead. So we don't need that. Okay. Okay, so, is it destroyed, right? Alright. Right. Burying is not destroyed. Okay. If any targets were destroyed this turn. Play the top card of the villain deck, and then remove one token from one villain card and bury this card. Okay, this card's gone. The first play. One from deck, I guess. Yeah. Play the top card, bury this. Elder Agma. What does Elder Agma do? After a bomb card is buried, add one token to one villain card. Okay. We buried it after we played the card. Mm -hmm. End phase, reveal the top three cards of the villain deck, bury one, and replace the other two. He's good for us. Advisors are good for us. Some of them, except Some. that sneaky guy. We got him. Okay, so that is my turn. Oh, if this is the player with the most ongoing, it's not even close. So she is done and it moves to Alpha. Okay, Alpha, start of turn. One target, one sonic damage. So we're just hitting Morgan? Yep. Okay, Take so two. two. Plus one damage dealt by me. Yep. Destroy an ongoing, no ongoing. Uh, one target, three melee damage, so I hit her again. And then I'm going to discover an ongoing. Lots of power. Played that yet? Okay. Start of phase, start of phase. Discovered. Okay, now I get to do So what does the silver bindings do? I haven't actually- Reduces the damage of your end of turn. Mm -hmm. So stops all of that. Right, but because you killed two guys, now when I kill that one, I'm gonna start hitting Hugo and Hugo. Nope. Oh, Hugo and Hugo. Mm -hmm. But you're not gonna deal more than yeah, eight damage this turn? Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm playing a reaction card. And then my power. Reveal the top card. It's not an aspect, it wasn't in the hand. Okay, so. End up phase in order that you want them. I think you're all the same. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dies. damage. Try to do that seven. Seven. So one, two, yep. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Try it dies. And then two damage to you can already. Yeah, token. Actually, if we had just stacked those tokens on deck, then we could have won. We won away. Huh. It's too late. We did it this way. We're doing it this way. Although now that we have enough on her, maybe we can 
and start putting them on him. Just mess with this card. Should we put this one on him? Sure. Draw a card and then match it. Draw a card happened before all these. Got it. Okay, realm. Okay. Explosive bubbles. Denizen. When this card is dealt damage, reduce the damage to one. Okay. Destroy a hero ongoing card and one villain ongoing card. No villain ongoing card in play. Can we get one of your, one of your blocks, the one that hits uh, everything? Maybe? The one that hits everything. One hits all targets for one bummer here. Well, that'll keep flipping the thing, right? Fine. Oh, he's flipped right now, though. He's flipped right now, though. Mm -hmm. I'll destroy it. Sure. Uh, okay, so destroy that, and then each non environment target deals itself with sonic damage. This target. It's not Oh, sorry. Okay. One to each of us fixed. One to each of them. Remember to keep the new Ah, okay. Three non environment targets with the highest HP X energy damage, where X is the current HP of this card. So it is three. Well, three non environment. Non environment. That's okay. what I just off. Is it the highest? X. Yes. Highest HP. So one, two. And then. Start phase. Start phase. Each hero may discard, we're gonna leave them on the side. Start phase. Each hero may deal itself two damage or flip. Don't care. Hey. Play card. Salamanders. Okay. Degda deals the Oh no. Yeah. Degda deals the hero target with the highest HP, X cold damage, or X in the number of tokens. Highest HP is you. One cold damage is zero. Okay. Okay, she deals each hero target one melee and one infernal. This card deals the hero target with the highest HP. Still. Apex, three melee damage. Two. That target may deal one target, one melee. Good Do we want to Well, they're going to be removing tokens. Okay, hit him for one. And then two. a reaction. So hit him for. You're going to hit him back? Or you're not using the reaction? Oh, sorry. I thought I was hitting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, reveal the top of the cards of the villain deck, bury one, and replace the other two. So replace is just put them back on. In so we're order. gonna bury the bond. Okay. Ooh. Don't want that. Six. Okay, burying the bond. The bond will put another, so that doing that puts a token on Dagda. Okay. Is there anybody with two bonds? No. No. One from each. They are done. Harpy. Okay, Harpy. Start of turn. There's so much. I'm just gonna go in order. Discard two cards. You may destroy a hero on going. Play a card. Each hero draws a card. The first play a card. Okay, I'm dealing up to five targets, three infernal damage each. Do we want to whittle down the big guys? No, we like them. They're both good for us. Okay, so three and three. You're hitting Dagda? Aren't we? We yeah, don't have no reason to. We could. Just doesn't seem like we are collecting tokens at a rate that makes sense. So. Okay, so we'll just kill them both. Yep. And Salander? Yep. That was my player card from this. Each hero draws a card. Okay. Save them suddenly. <laughs> Uh, this is a clock, so it goes out. Okay, so you have to do that thing to start, guys. Start. Still start. It's a good 
Discard two cards. One hero target regains two HP. And then back to this one, discard two cards. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Remember to make sure no of your flops. I don't. I put that already. Okay. I guess that's why it's coming to you, but you might not want to be if you're flocking. I know I want to be if I'm flocking. Do myself one damage and then discover a flock, which means it goes into play. Morgan lower than Dagda so that your end of phase destroys Morgan once we get rid of everybody. Yeah. Well, uh, no, it will never. Oh, right. Yeah. It's the target. It'll hit yeah. us first. Unless we get it really low. Eventually we'll get it low. Eventually. Okay. Discovered a flock, so I have two more flocks in play now. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay, that was my power. Okay, now draw a card. Now draw a card. Draw two cards. Go to this. Make sure they're not they're not flocks. <laughs> now it's your end phase. End phase! Two heroes, each draw a card. Okay, I'm giving it to you Alpha. You need to draw yourself so you have the most. Uh, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I've got one, 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 two, three, four, five, six. It's not a flock, and then Alpha. Yeah, it's not a flock. How many does she have? Three. Oh. Six. Okay. <laughs> Harpy deals three targets, two projectile damage each. Specifically three, not up to three? Up to three. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Is me giving up on working with the court and just... <laughs> just murdering them. Just murdering them. Uh, okay. Who else should I be? I did the sound. The sound method. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got ten more. Or eight. Eight. Do you want me to get rid of him? I mean, somebody will, so. I wouldn't waste overkill damage on him. Mm. Uh, so, two targets, three projectile damage. One, two, three. Three. Uh, three and three, so you want me to do Morgan? targets, two projectile damage each. Killed mm. Salamander? Yeah. With a token on the game? Two cards or play a card. Yes. Okay, let's play this. Yes, flash the elements. Deal one target, one irreducible cold, fire, lightning. One, 
My turn, start of phase. I hit somebody for three, I'll hit Morgan. And for one. You want to play this game? We were trying to be nice. Giving up on the tokens thing? Yep. Okay. <laughs> if we can get Dega enough tokens, then great, but. Okay, so I play a card as you play the Amulet of the Elder God plus one to my uh, current magic number. Okay. Whenever I would be dealt infernal damage, I may bury one card from your hand. So this is the top it. part of your discard pile, yeah, not the top part of this? Yes. Oh, okay. So I will use this power, which lets me deal myself one infernal damage. Instead of dealing myself one infernal damage, I will bury this card. Burying that card allows me to redirect that damage to somebody else. I'll hit Morgan for one. Either collect or play one spell card. So I can play a spell card. Tendril of Talonthus. Discard the top card of your deck. Boop. That's a limited four. I don't want that. I don't think I've ever seen actually a harpy play like leaning into. Well, Flox wasn't a thing before. Oh, it was just the tokens. It was the tokens right, right. and lots of auxiliaries. Yeah. Okay, well, I like this. Mm -hmm. Sure. I will discard this card. With this effect, after you discard the top of your deck, you may immediately discard a different card from your hand. I discarded the four. I didn't want the effect of the four on this card, so I discard this. Now it's a one. Magnus steals one target, one infernal damage. More. One, two, nine. So I have dealt three, four, five total damage so far. Okay. Nightmiss may deal herself infernal damage, bad infernal damage. One. One. Three, four, three, four, five, six damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. If Magnus takes damage this way, play the top card in the trash. 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 Boom. Boop. Discard the top card of your deck. What? Hmm. One target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I want more. I'm gonna discard that. And I'm ah. gonna deal this. After you discard the top card of your deck, you may immediately discard one card from your hand. Okay. So I'm now discarding this card, so my spell is three instead of one. One. And it's actually plus one because of this, so it's four. Okay. And this should have been another one. And another question mark. Because my spell is plus one to mm -hmm. this one. So now I'm doing this. Now he steals one target. Three, four, irreducible damage, Morgan. Nice. Four irreducible damage, and then one other target regains four HP. I'm gonna do it to myself because I'm low at 19. Yep. So now we're gonna do 23. Okay. That was my power. Now it is an end phase. You have fewer than three cards in your hand, draw cards until you have four cards in your hand. That's specific instead of yeah, that draw. Right. Okay, so now I have four cards. Very good. One shot, it's gone. So now I did do more than seven damage. Okay, and what happens? One target in this play area deals each target two radiant damage. So I'm slapping everybody for two. And we remove one token from him. So why did you push to do that damage? I just wanted to push out a big turn. Oh. It removes one token and then buries this card. Burying this card puts out another token. Okay. So. So we each take two net, damage. Net tokens are the same. Did you say? No, each target two radiant damage. Okay. One per. 
22. Yeah. So she's below That's us. She's below us. Almost. That's almost. 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 Very close. close. We're almost close. there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the main reason. Hey. Okay. One hero can play an ongoing card. Didn't have any. Me. You? Maybe. Yes, sir. Hamstring. Okay. After this card is played, Alpha deals the villain target with the highest HP, three needle damage. Three? Three. Ah, uh, four. A target dealt damage this way cannot deal damage. You cannot deal damage. Okay. Yeah, we don't. Alright, good Remember it. Okay. Now I may play a card. I need more damage. Power is going to be both of these guns, so I'm going to shoot one target for four damage, and then one target for two, and then two. So I'm going to do eight damage to both. Cool. Nice. So for the 16. That was my usual power. I use two powers because I can use additional power. I will draw a card at the draw phase, end of my turn. I don't have the most ongoing, so it goes to. Your turn. Goes to oh, your turn. Oh. Start of phase. Start of phase. Destroy this card. Destroy this card. So that didn't do anything. Why does that? It just says a target dealt damage this way cannot deal damage. Until That's... the start of your next turn. Until the start of his turn. No, until the start of your next turn, right? No, it doesn't say that. It yes. says a target dealt damage this way cannot deal damage. As long as that card is out, but then that card gets destroyed now and it's gone and its effect is no longer. Really? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be until the start of his turn like every other... Because usually you play it on your turn and then it does one full rotation back to you. But you played it on my turn which went right before you and then immediately destroyed so... That's how those work. It's how they always work. I think so. Even like tacked in points to be brought was until the start of your next turn and targets can't deal damage. Well there. It's still the four damage. So. Well, I guess I will do this to find my last aspect card. Oh you said there was six. Yeah, there's one more. I think there's one more. Here we go. I think that's it. We'll have to do another discover. Yeah. Okay. If there are three or more aspect cards in play, there are. Deals up to four ta targets, two melee damage each. Okay. Are you hitting these guys or just these two? Um, definitely all four of them. All four? Yeah. Okay. How much? Three damage. Plus one for this? That's. A little bit for this. One, two, three. Thirty. Using my heal up power. Heal <laughs> card. It's not an aspect, it's a one shot. But suddenly, what happens? Shuffle your trash into your deck and discover another aspect. So I need to check if there's another aspect. Okay. No, there's not. Six. She has six aspects and they are all in play right now. Very good. Bye. So, 
She is the lowest health. So, That's the lowest health, so yeah. one. So one, one and then one. Mm-hmm. So that dies. One and then one. And then now this is two. On the Hugan. Hugan. Which does not kill him. And then let's do two, I guess, on him yep. again. Got to. So he dies. Then. Uh, so that was one, two, one, three, four. Two, three, four. So two and then two on two him. Two and then two on him. So that's. They are done. They are done. Sorry. Sorry, little yes. birds. Sacrifice is appreciated. Necessary for us to destroy them the next time. Yeah. Okay. That's it for the alpha. Destroy all the distortions. Nice. Nice. Roll roll out. After a target is played, it deals itself two fixed moon damage. End of its phase, each hero discards one card. Okay, so we'll discard a card. At the beginning of my turn, I guess I'll just have to play these ones that I missed last time. When did you drop them? Suddenly. On my turn. Mm-hmm. I'll start them at the start of my turn. It's, yeah. Hey. It's what it is. Sure. That was the environment? That was the environment. Yes, sir. Yeah. Start. We don't want to flip them, so we're leaving them both. On this side. Play the top card. More off arbiters. End turn. Highest two cold damage. One alpha. Each hero oh. target. Should I react first? Oh, sure. Okay. You want to Three damage. Or do you want to hold oh, more damage? Morgan slapped everybody for one and then one. Including those guys? Or just turn? Just turn. This guy says with the highest gets hit for three. Should still be you. Two. Two. And you can deal one target two or one. Nope. Yep. With this effect. Oh, with that effect? Yep. The, that target may be a one target, one move. Two. Two. After a. Oh, we're gonna reveal the top three cards of the villain deck, bury one, replace the other two in the order. There is a bond, but we really don't want him to get this card. Okay, bury it. This card deals each hero in the play area with two bonds. There aren't any, so removes one. Okay. There you go. Harpy, start of the phase. Oh man, okay. Discard two cards. Okay, so first, let's. Oh, right. I screwed right. this up last time, so let's add those out. Okay, shuffle your trash into your deck. Deal myself one damage. Deal. Oh, discover. Is that your hand or your deck? Yes. I can't tell which one. Screenshot <laughs> <laughs> cards. All right, you have no blocks. Okay, so all card. the blocks are in play. Okay. This block. Uh, that's just gonna oh, add this another to okay, So I just needed to do that. Okay. Yes, this is my hand. <laughs> okay, so discard 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 cards. 
points. How many do you have? 13. So, so say one, one first. Okay. <laughs> so the problem that I'm seeing is there are no cards that deal damage based on the number of flocks to one target. The number of flocks do their own mean thing. you can hit multiple targets. Mm -hmm. Like there's X targets you can hit based on how many flocks are out. Um, I thought that there might be one that... Did one target X for X is the number of flocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. So, okay, I'm playing this one shot to discover a flock, which I can't do, but I can summon a cobra. Do it. You at least get this turn. No, but I don't want to waste her damage. Oh. Okay. Um, I will deal. I don't think he will. But... I will deal up to five targets, three infernal damage each. See. Should. Yeah. Deal one for three. Yeah. No, don't bother. Well, we still need them. Oh, we want her to be lower than that. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, um, that's all I can do. So now I the harpy deals herself two. Then if you have no cards in hand, okay. deals herself two fixed damage and destroys this card. So those are all and gone. Then I can't. No cards in hand, two fixed damage. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then I can use a power. Two heroes each draw a card. She's drawing a card. And and, okay. Okay. Three targets, two projectile damage. So one, two, three, four. Let's just do one at a time. Five, six, seven. Eight damage would kill Morgan. Okay. But. So three targets, two projectile damage. So two to Morgan puts her at six. Two on the Salamanders and two on two. Bay. One target, three projectile damage to Morgan twice, killing Morgan. She's dead. So she gets removed. We don't have to deal with her. I still have the most cards in hand, so that's fine. Each non hero target, one Sonic. Each non hero? Six. Six. That's her. That's her. Yes. Okay. Birds pecking her eyes out. My turn. Nice. No starts. Play a card. It's kind of a whole cluster with uh, Harpy and all of her flock. Yep. For sure. <laughs> all right. Discard the top card of your deck. Three. Nightmare deals each non-hero target. Three plus one is four. Infernal damage. It kills the salamander. He dies, so Dagda gets a token. And then four damage to Dagda. Puts him at 17. Four damage to Gnome. And four Four. 
You may discard the top card of your deck. If you do, Nightmare steals each target. That in front of them. I don't want to hit all of us, I guess. So I won't. Alright. So I play a card. Use a power. I'll use this power. Deal myself one infernal damage. I can collect or play one spell card. Discard the top card of your deck. Boop. Two. Plus one is three. Reveal and replace the top card of up to. Three decks. Reveal and replace. Night Mist Alpha Boss. Boss has got a modicum of knowledge. Player discover an aspect. Hey. Oh! Deals one target X melee damage where X is the number of aspects in play plus one. Nice. I want that card. Nice. Discard the top card of one deck. Play the top card of one deck. Oh. Yeah. Bam. So, I have all six aspects. So, seven damage to him. Down to ten. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Now, I just brought my phase. You need to draw an additional card, so I brought two. Sorry and for mauling your birds. I did not have three or fewer. But, uh... <laughs> Their sacrifice <laughs> was, <laughs> was necessary. That's just, that's so good. Okay. okay. Discover one gun and one ammo card. Ammo. Ah, oh, uh, it's a limited gun that I already have. Oh. So that puts the ammo in play and the gun just gets destroyed because I already have it and it's limited. Then I may draw a card, and then I may play an item card. So I will play more of that. So I'm going to play a card, I'm going to use a power, I was going to use two different powers, I'm going to use my double barrel shotgun and Pride and Prejudice. Uh, double barrel shotgun, I can use two ammo cards in this, so I'll use both. Plus two plus two is going to be eight damage. Blasting Dagda in the face, down to two health, and then Pride and Prejudice go bloop bloop and kill him. Sweet. Way to steal my thunder! <laughs> <laughs> Just come out guns blazing. You would have mauled these guys. I would have so. agreed, yeah. Worked out. Killed Dagda. Screw the court. Screw the court. <laughs> Screw getting your favor. Yeah. Dead. Victory. All right. Uh, so general sen or sense of what we got going on here. She is cool. Yeah. That but, would, but like a lot. And a lot. And yeah, could be risky. Like if you if you didn't want to use this power to draw five cards and you didn't get out the Eldritch training to draw more cards, like you wouldn't be able to sustain this. So you kind of have to draw as many cards as you can in order to sustain the flock life. Having stuff to help you draw cards was helpful. Yeah. Um, what I didn't get to use at all really was like destroying flock cards to do something else. Do and anything. after a flock card was destroyed, I could have had heroes regain an HP. So a little bit more sustain and support options. Yes. If you decide not to run the flock Right. right. Um, and then if there is a boss that you're fighting that has lots of low health targets, it's really good to have the lots of blocks out. The Harpy deals one X targets one irreducible projectile damage where X is the number of flock cards. And we definitely could have dealt with that with how many guys there were out yeah. at one point, but we just got rid of them. And well, and that was part of what I did, right? Yeah. Was just using the things that they had to take them out that way. Um, definitely interesting to see Alpha with all of the aspects out 
and having low targets. Again, like it, she ended up going after an ally because they were the lowest health, but then there was other targets out that were at least lower than us. Yes. So I felt safe to do that and didn't keep any of the cards that would have gotten rid of them. I did get the Quell the Beast card quite a few times, which is put any number of aspect cards that are in play back into your hand. Um, and then summon those silver bindings to do make the ones that remain do less damage. Uh, yeah, so definitely on this boss with lots of low health targets, she felt safer to just get the aspect up. We weren't really worried about yeah. it. Especially Go crazy. also with her having things to target just in case. Right. Was nice buffer. Uh, it wasn't as good against the werewolf boss where all, everything had such high health yeah. that we were hitting ourselves with right. it. Right, right. Um, lots of ability to get ammo cards. And I got my guns out, felt a lot better. I'm shooting my double barrel shotgun and my pride and prejudice. I didn't I was quite using have ammo. the same. I got fistfuls of lead to be able to use mm -hmm. lots of car powers. Yeah. You didn't quite get the same experience, which is why I wanted to play her again and see a little bit more of what her deck could do. Yeah. Um, she did a lot of damage. Yes. And in some of the fight, I was feeling like I couldn't deal any damage because I had that one of the uh, bonds, the and bonds. we were trying to get the. Yeah. Positive tokens. Once we gave up on positive tokens, this fight that was, became way yeah, easier. Way so that's easier. a big thing to note on this boss. If you have control characters, if you are running people that manipulate decks more, you would probably have a better time trying to get favor. Right. Because you can mess with the deck and you can make sure that, oh, if this guy discards the top or reveals the top card of the deck, we can make sure it's a one shot. Yeah. Because Visionary or Night Mist can do that. Yeah. Um, these characters, I guess we had Nightmist to do it, but really we just didn't have enough control to do that. Oh, even if we changed you to the Recorder version. Yes, it, yeah, if I had been a different version of Alpha. In this one, I just kept healing myself and then playing Aspect cards. And you just gave us like 20, 23 health with the amount of damage that was yeah. going out. That's pretty huge. Yeah. Um, it was interesting seeing these bosses. It does feel like for most fights, if you just flip the two and get rid of this stupid card, the courts our displeasure once you get rid of this and you have them both flip it's an easy fight yeah. it's a joke of a fight right. really unless this thing comes back out this thing is what causes problems now we were dealing a ton of damage. i was able to just get rid of it yeah so but you can't win this thing out because it removes tokens and eventually morgan right loses the game is a problem yeah. so whenever a villain target is dealt damage by hero targets remove two tokens from them you can't kill morgan if this is out so if you don't have destroy ongoings this fight is like impossible uh, well, it's certainly <laughs> very difficult. Very certainly difficult. difficult. Uh, you definitely have to go for the favor route if you do not have the short ongoings because you're not going to be able to keep up with that. Night Mist. I think I did really good. Like, look how much of that deck I, I used. She feels better than the old one did. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why. A lot of her stuff feels similar. It feels very similar, but I just felt better. I usually didn't have a fun time playing Night Mist, mm -hmm. and I did pretty good with this. Yeah. Uh, they definitely made these relics feel better. The relics didn't feel as good before, and these ones are definitely feeling more positive. I was happier to get my relics out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think like this one was plus one damage dealt by her right. instead of plus one of the magic. Mm -hmm. And so these things that like dealt one infernal damage to myself were two if you had this amulet out for no additional reason, right? You weren't getting benefit, it was just hurting you more. Right. Um, so changing that to increasing the actual spell level was good. Uh, I don't love the power. It, it worked okay, but I, I mean, might want to check it out. It let you play quite a few spell cards, cards. but yeah. yeah, that's that's the point of the alternate. Oh man, did you see Dark Watch Harpy? I remember reading it, but discard a card, summon a cohort, you may discover a flock. Yeah, so that's cool. Oof. Oof. All right, uh, so yeah, that was a super fun game. Really long. It took us a while, but we just changed tax and took it out. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us for episode two of us playing some Definitive Edition.